Normally configuration or customization means programming. So you need to type in codes and compile and upload and stuff like that. You can always do that on our controllers because it's open source and if you're a hacker like that, you are free to explore the codes if you like. But we put an interface, a web interface in these units that allow you to basically almost drag and drop but at least pull down in combo boxes and select functionality. And even though it's just a web interface, it's enormously powerful because there are ways where you can decide how buttons and interface components, they change functionality by shift levels and controller states. You can even load different presets. So we'll explore these options and let's first look at shift states. So on a controller like this one, you see out of the box, it has a shift key. And as you hold the shift key, it gives you access to inputs six, seven, and eight for preview selection. By now, when you press these buttons, you see that it's selecting sources one through five on preview. If you hold this one, six, seven, and eight are available. Nine and 10 are not available, and that's because it's a one ME switcher with only eight inputs. So uh, how is that set up? Again, we need to boot it. Then we go to the IP address of the controller, load the web interface, and here you see. So uh, the button with the name D in the web interface is the one called shift on the controller. So I press D, and you see this button, the shift key, performs a function called system shift level. And it sets the level to one as long as I hold down the key. That's what we see here. And that corresponds to what we saw just before. I hold it down and then the controller acts differently and I release it and it's back to level zero, which is the default level. And then it's the original behavior. If we look at how the buttons are configured, those buttons that respond to the shift level, like button number one, you see that the shift level, when the shift level is one, it will instead select source number six on preview. If you do not define this level for a given hardware interface component, it will just perform the default function, which would be the top one. So it's only if you add this level by the menu over here that you actually um, get a, an alternative behavior in case the shift key is held down. So the question is if any component on this controller actually has that um, scenario embedded. It seems that, um, for instance, button number C and D has it, like the shift key itself, and also the display. Maybe it's the best example. Actually, the display we see in uh, the corner of the controller will always show the system status, system information, regardless of the shift state. So that's how shift levels work. There are more advanced things you can do, like set different shift levels than one. You can set level two, three, and four, and so forth. This is all described in the manual. In the next video, we'll look at controller states. That's kind of similar to shift states, but they are adding even more flexibility to how your controller can work.